Hi y'all, I'm Carissa. This is the Fat Girl Flow channel and today we are reacting to one of my more controversial videos. It is entitled That's Not Body Positive and I think that, let's see, I am not sure how long ago I filmed it. I filmed this video in 2016 and uh, it got written about in a few online magazines and it got a lot of attention negatively and otherwise. If I recall correctly, when I recorded the video, I didn't think I was saying anything that controversial. And I think that my thought process was that I am going to post this video and it will bring more people into my realm who are aligned with my values and who want to see my content. That was my thought process when recording it. It turns out this video opened the door for so much hate and so much vitriol. And honestly, I thought it was a bit unwarranted at the time, but I haven't watched this video in seven years. So we're gonna see if I still think that. I am just going to start playing it, react. I have no clue how I'm gonna edit this, but we'll see. Fashion community where everything is body positive. And okay, first of all, let's just acknowledge my commitment to never doing my hair and makeup on camera. That is, I love that for me. I think right off the bat I noticed that the title of this is uh, That's Not Body Positive and I talk about how people are using the language of body positivity and I often don't say body positive or body positivity anymore because I think that it is a um, kind of watered down version of fat liberation. However, I do say body positive a lot still because I just kind of refuse to let people take over the words body positive to mean something that isn't radical and that isn't like a real movement. I just feel like this the body positive movement has kind of been co-opted by people who are not marginalized in their bodies and I kind of just refuse to let it go because, you know, fat people did that shit. Specifically, fat black women. I think that means we are moving in the right direction. And also, I think that because this movement has kind of gained a lot of attention, it has now become kind of a buzzword, we need to be much more serious about how we identify and people who are like bloggers and influencers who say they're body positive are really practicing what they preach. All right, this video was created so that I could speak directly to bloggers and influencers and YouTubers who were saying or categorizing themselves as body positive and were doing things that were harmful to viewers, in my opinion. Being body positive does not mean that you have the attitude of you do you and I'll do me. That's not what body positivity is. I still very much think that the body positivity movement is not there to be like, we can all do whatever we want. I still very much feel like it is a movement to create more rights for people who are disabled, for people who are fat, for people who are black, to create a more just world. I agree with me. Body positivity is thinking critically about how we relate to our bodies within our society and how to make that a more positive experience for ourselves and others. I feel like the community has been a little bit stagnant lately. I feel like people have become complacent in just saying, I love all bodies, my body's great however it is, and not actually thinking a more bigger picture for what body positivity is. So here are a couple things that are not body positive that I see people doing all of the time. Number one, propagating diet culture in any way, shape, or form. Diet culture is inherently not body positive. I'm not saying that you personally should not go on a diet or lose weight or do whatever the fuck you want with your body. Absolutely, do whatever you want with your body. But do not look me in the eye, tell me you are on Weight Watchers, and then in the next breath say you are body positive. I like her. I still think she's right. Dieting and diet culture is inherently not body positive. And in fact, the body positive movement was created in order to fight back against diet culture. I don't know y'all, maybe this reaction video didn't need to be made. Maybe this video was just still a good video. 
Not thinking about intersections of gender and race is not body positive. Different genders and different races experience their body and how it interacts with society in different ways. If you are part of this body positive community and you have never thought, wow, how can I be more body positive and inclusive to trans people, black people, indigenous people, people who do not identify with any gender, then you are missing the mark on body positivity. A couple really easy things that you could do to get started down the path of being more accepting of all genders and all races is thinking about how you address the plus size population. If you are in this community and you only talk about the girls in this community, then that is not body positive. There are plenty of men, trans people, and non-binary people who are part of the community who would like to be addressed. Thinking about how you can make your language more inclusive will help you become more body positive and set a really great example for the rest of the community. I agree with that too. Also, I just wanna add that I think that I did leave disability justice out of this and we missed the part where body positivity needs to be radically inclusive of all bodies with all abilities. So uh, I, I left that out of this. That's different. I think it's important to remember that uh, I made this video speaking toward bloggers, influencers, um, people who were kind of in the same realm as me and I I mean this. Your language is a reflection of the change we want to see going forward. If every video you begin is like, hey girlies, then you are discounting so many non-binary trans people and men. It's not body positive to judge anyone's sexual habits. That means whether or not someone's a sex worker, whether or not someone has no sex, whether or not someone has a shit ton of sex, or whether or not someone is monogamous or polyamorous. If you participate in any type of body shaming that may make people think that you have some perception of someone who has a lot of sex as a slut, then you are not body positive. If you use your public platform to shame other women even if they've wronged you for sleeping with a bunch of people you are not body positive i have a feeling that i was speaking to a certain instance in that i agree um i do think that that is something we've really moved away from in the last many years you really don't see people talking about like not wanting to be a slut or anything like that. Um, but that was common back then. Like people were like, oh, I don't want to show too much cleavage. And people were judging what others were wearing as being too provocative. And people were judging other people within the community for being sex workers. Um, specifically, someone that I met very early on who wanted me to kind of be like they wanted to be their a mentor to me kind of very quickly let me know that they knew that I had done sex work in the past and that they were like red flagging to brands other people that had done sex work and like that they wanted to like kind of clean out um the sex workers out of the body positive community this is a real thing that happened back in 2015, 2016. It, it was basically just like threatening people who had done sex work that we couldn't cross over into the plus size fashion community, which nobody cared, nobody cared, nobody cared. I got tons of brand deals that didn't come to fruition. That person kind of a shit bag, so <laughs> that didn't work out. But I think that that is what I was specifically speaking on in that instance. And here's the thing, you guys, there are so many things that we can do to kind of change our language and change our perspective and think more critically about these things. And we're not all gonna get it right all of the time. I do not get it right all of the time. But if you are a blogger or an influencer or someone with a large platform and you just like plus size fashion and you don't actually care about body positivity that much at all, that's okay. Take a back seat because some of us are actually trying to get work done. And this, I really, really think that this approach of telling people that if they're not body positive, please move aside for those of us who are and are trying to, you know, make change. Um, maybe not the best approach, but I, I mean it. I still think that. I still think that it's okay if you are not body positive. It's okay. That's okay. It's not a big deal. You do not have to be anything that you aren't. If you are a fashion babe and you just wanna talk about fashion and you want to lose weight and you want dieting to be part of your platform, okay, 
that is whatever, that's fine. What irked me then and continues to irk me is when people are profiting off of terms like body positivity, fat liberation, and other terms and building their entire platform off of the backs of plus size people and wanting plus size people to follow them and then they start doing things that are harmful to the community like promoting Weight Watchers or dieting. We've got to get it together and if you want to profit off of the body positive movement by making body positive videos or tagging your Instagram with body positivity or participating in body positive campaigns with companies, then I need you to get more informed. I hope that we can all start a more comprehensive dialogue about the issues that the body positive community and the plus size community face. But mostly I just hope that y'all get your shit together and quit promoting shit that's not actually body positive. Listen, I should be sharing that video more, honestly. It's just like really good. That's my hot take. Seven years later, so that video was pretty good. I still stand by it. I'm gonna share it more. Just double down. I'm just doubling down, okay? Yes, that is my politics. I believed it then, I believe it now. Am I a softer, gentler, more like more understanding person these days? Yes. Do I think that I would make a rant video about how grumpy I am about the body positive community? Maybe not, but maybe yes. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure that I lead with anger sometimes. I'm an Aries, so possible. Might make a video like that again. Uh, but mostly I just like that video, I think. I'm glad that I rewatched it. It was a good refresher. What do y'all think? Do you think that I uh, should have changed my stance since seven years ago? Do you think that this video was too direct, was not uh, soft enough? Do you think that people should just live and let live? Do you think that these concepts apply to more than just influencers and bloggers? I don't know. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching this. Thanks for the blast from the past with me. Next week we're doing a haul, which is gonna be lighthearted and fun. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.